I'm uh, Chad Hart, and this is Reed Steidoff, and we're with Acme Packet. Acme Packet makes uh, software and infrastructure for uh, real-time communication session delivery uh, across disparate networks. We've been focused on this problem for uh, a long time. You might, many of us might know of, of us for our session border control product, which is basically a product that provides security, uh, reliability, interoperability, and regulatory compliance. And as I mentioned, we've been doing this for 10 years. We have a very large and diverse customer base that varies from some of the largest companies in the world uh, to small development shops. Includes you know, traditional PSDN service providers, uh, internet service providers, uh, enterprises, contact centers, even government agencies. You know, organizations you might know of like Verizon, Skype, uh, ADP, uh, State of Delaware, just to name a few. And uh, you know, real-time communications over the web is, is something that's actually not new to us. This is a, we've had customers in production using web-based RTC methods for more than five years, uh, and we're very excited about WebRTC. So you know, what does Acme Packet do exactly? We, we like to describe ourselves as bridging islands. Now, you know, historically, uh, a lot of these islands were uh, between uh, within or between service providers, you know, whether PSTN providers or internet service providers. You know, they could, this can also be between service providers and businesses or within businesses or their contact centers. Um, but the opportunity that we're really excited about is bridging islands to the huge continent of the, you know, more than two uh, billion internet users out there via the web. And with that short intro, I'll hand things over to Reed to run through our demo. Hey guys, Reed Steidolf here. Um, I am a solutions architect uh, at Acme Packet. Um, so the basic demo setup that we're going to show is uh, is pretty straightforward. Um, it can, here's a diagram that shows uh, three main components of the demo. Uh, number one, a standard web server. Um, you know, for those that are interested, it's a Linux Apache MySQL server running in uh, AWS, uh, Amazon EC2. Um, and then we have uh, behind this the, the PSTN. Uh, we're connected via a, a SIP trunk uh, uh, back to the, you know, the, the PSTN infrastructure and its uh, millions of users and numbers. Uh, and then tying it and gatewaying it together is a, a piece of Acme Packet technology uh, bridging that divide and, and providing interworking. Um, so it's worth noting that, uh, so if we look at this uh, diagram, while this is a, a SIP trunk to a, the PSTN, uh, what Acme Packet is focused on is making this technology uh, um, work with virtually any SIP infrastructure and any web infrastructure, um, providing sort of a middleware layer uh, between those two um, disparate realms or worlds, if you will. Uh, so, you know, you could exchange that out for an IMS core. Actually, uh, uh, we uh, did a press release today describing an uh, integration with a third-party IMS core at a large Tier 1 service provider, a wireless service provider, um, where we took uh, essentially a WebRTC-based client and, uh, and integrated that, again, um, with third-party uh, web infrastructure, third-party IMS infrastructure, and provided a, a security uh, element and an interworking element in between those. Um, so it could be an IMS core, obviously it could be PBX, uh, enterprise, uh, UC application servers, things like that. Uh, so uh, you, you get the idea. SIP on one side, uh, a gateway to uh, WebRTC on the other side. Um, so, our first application, we're going to show a couple specific demos of applications, but again, us as Acme Packet, uh, we tend to focus on the hard security or the hard problems of session delivery, things like scaling media, security. Um, you know, when, when you're, it's peer to peer applications are, are really cool. They can, you can do them lightweight uh, from a server side processing perspective, but uh, you know, when you get to the point where you're, you're needing to handle line rate encryption, uh, you know, at, at Gig, gigabits or 10 gigabits per second speeds, um, doing you know SRTP encryption, ICE negotiation, all that. Um, you know we're focused on a lot of those large scale uh, uh, problems with our uh, uh, with our hardware platforms. Uh, so while we <laughs> 
you know, we've, we've seen some great applications up here. Acme Packet tends to be that security and uh, our, uh, infrastructure piece. Typically not, uh, you know, engineers find that stuff sexy. It's not the... Uh, the Dirty plumbing. Yeah, it's, it's the plumbing. So, uh, um, so this is a, a, a plumber's attempt at a, at, at a few applications here, but showing leveraging that, that signaling channel um, for application providers. So let me switch... Um, so... Uh, the setup for this one, again, this uh, Envision, um, an IMS service provider, uh, or a, a wireless service provider with an IMS core. Um, they all have a web page typically today. They have user portals where they're able to log in. Uh, and uh, so imagine this white space is that user portal where, uh, um, yeah, let me move this over here. So imagine the user portal, uh, the white space is the user portal. Um, Customer logs in, they got their account details here, and uh, for whatever reason, their phone is not on them, or it's just more convenient to uh, use the browser when they need to make a call, so um, activate a widget served in, in the web page with them. Uh, this particular one, um, since it's served in my account portal, it knows my device, um, and it serves me a, a, a fully functional HTML5 uh, version of my device here and uh, um, fully functional to the point I can uh, actually make a call. So I've got a number here. We will uh, demonstrate a live uh, PSTN call, again, using the demo setup described. So, Again, it's worth noting that, that the look and feel and, and the application experience uh, should be done by web developers. Ultimately, they're going to be the best at integrating that experience. So, um, and there we have a phone call uh, to my buddy. Yeah, answer the phone. <laughs> <laughs> we have we got audio? The audio in the audio. There we go. So. Um, Anyways, this, like I said, the experience that, that, you know, we've come up with an experience here, um, but, you know, our, our idea and our vision is that, uh, um, you know, the, the web developers would ultimately be able to leverage the, the RTC cores that exist today and be able to uh, also leverage the tenants of the web. I, you know, the web is an awesome place for innovation uh, application creation and, and, and uh, it, leverage that core and weave RTC into those experiences um, while, you know, leveraging the, uh, the, the users and the infrastructure that's in place. Um, so uh, another scenario here, this is one that's often talked about, is the, uh, the support happy button. Um, uh, you know, this uses the exact same infrastructure. Um, you know, nothing too fancy here, uh, but uh, so, uh, you know, IT help desk uh, has a little self-health page. Um, have you tried turning it on and off again? Uh, is the button on the side glowing, perhaps? Uh, is it working now? Okay, so you've exhausted your options, nothing's working, and uh, you know, click the button to speak to support. Uh, those that are IT crowd fans, there you go. So uh, hopefully uh, Moss, is, uh, Moss or Roy is on the other end of this, uh, yeah, and it yeah, rings allow. through to uh, uh, yeah, allow the call. Anyways, again, nothing too sexy about the application there. Uh, but you get the point of, of leveraging existing signaling channels that, uh, um, uh, that, that are in existence and, and uh, extending those to the web. So when we, uh, so when we look at WebRTC, um, you know, we see there uh, as being a big technology divide uh, between the traditional infrastructures and the web, and you know, ultimately, there is really good technologies on both sides of that. Um, uh, you know, the WebRTC ultimately is a media engine for both of them. It's for, uh, it, it's for pure web, it's for uh, traditional real-time communications providers, uh, and you know, we see ourselves in this sort of technology uh, being, or providing what we often consider a service reach aspect of, of a, uh, session delivery network. So the ability to span that technology divide with little to no changes to your core infrastructure uh, and, and extend it into the web 
you know, to offer any number of services from the companion clients to the call center applications uh, and, and so on and so forth. So, uh, you know, in the future, obviously uh, the pure web players will be doing peer-to-peer -to, -peer to begin with, but as uh, there becomes increased scale demands on things like compliancy, um, uh, you know, things where they're going to need to, uh, on server side, handle uh, large, large amounts of, of media, uh, you know, we, we see uh, great uses for our, our technology and our platforms in that places, uh, those places as well. So that's the demo. Thank you.